Why did all people in ancient Egypt fear the vizier more than the pharaoh? The origin of the title of vizier has a long history of development from ancient Egypt to the Ottoman Empire. In ancient Egypt, the great ruler was called Chadi, Jadi or Teddy, and in western countries, including Russia, he is known by the Arabic term vizier. When the pharaoh elected someone as a vizier, it was a great honor and responsibility for the chosen person. But do you know why many ordinary people and even respected officials in ancient Egypt feared the vizier much more than the pharaoh? whom they considered a god. The Egyptian title of Chadi, vizier, has been officially attested for the first time since the second dynasty of ancient Egypt, c. 2860 to 2727 BC, by stone vessels with inscriptions found under the steppe pyramid in Saqqara. However, many historians are sure that the title of vizier itself existed much earlier. It was a very important position, administratively subordinate only to the pharaoh himself. To become a vizier, a candidate must have a noble character and constantly demonstrate reliability and fairness. Initially, the viziers were chosen from among the confidants of the royal court, but since the time of the fourth dynasty, 2639 to 2506 BC, they received a full range of powers, since they were elected exclusively from the pharaoh's family. It can be said that since the fourth dynasty, the younger brother of the pharaoh or his closest male relative most often became the vizier. The responsibilities and duties of the vizier, as the second person after the pharaoh, were extensive. He was assigned civil, treasury, judicial, military, executive, and religious duties for the entire kingdom. Starting with urban planning, construction, soldier training, court and harvest, the vizier was the one who directed daily life in Egypt. All other junior overseers and officials, such as tax collectors and scribes, were directly subordinate to the vizier. The vizier led the pharaoh's guards and all the soldiers guarding the temples and palaces. In a bureaucratic system of government, such as in ancient Egypt, the vizier was the second person after the pharaoh. This status means that he had tremendous power and authority, and the pharaoh was the only person who surpassed him in status. Such a high social status also gave the vizier of ancient Egypt the authority to replace the pharaoh during his absence as prime minister in modern times. But why was the vizier respected and feared sometimes even more than the pharaoh? The ancient Egyptians were very sensitive to their laws. For every Egyptian, the goal of life was to achieve Maat the great divine order and law given to the Egyptians by the goddess of truth and justice named Ma. For the ancient Egyptians, no man was above the law, except Pharaoh, and no one from the point of view of the law was considered special. And since the vizier was the next most influential person in ancient Egypt after the Pharaoh, it was he who appointed judges and determined the punishment for a serious crime. And if before the fourth dynasty no one could be sentenced to death in ancient Egypt without the special permission of the pharaoh, and the vizier was not allowed to judge an official on the basis of suspicions and accusations without hearing his defense. Since the time when the younger brother of the pharaoh was appointed vizier, he received a full range of powers to administer the court on behalf of the pharaoh, as a direct relative of the sun god Ra, which the Egyptians considered their pharaoh. The most terrible prison of ancient Egypt was in Thebes. This place served as a correctional and labor camp. The vizier could send there any respectable or wealthy person who had committed a crime. And this decision could not be appealed. Such power influenced the fact that everyone was afraid of the vizier, even the aristocracy and representatives of the royal family. After all, if before the pharaoh any person, even the most ordinary slave could beg for forgiveness, get his pardon, as before a god, then before the vizier, who judged people of any social class to the fullest extent of the law in the absence of the pharaoh, it was impossible to get forgiveness. In the eyes of the people, the vizier should be an impartial judge. It is not for nothing that in Egyptian art viziers are usually depicted in long linen robes of pure white color, symbolizing his impartiality. The ancient Egyptians were very harsh when they saw that someone violated the mod system. Anyone who broke the law in Egypt was not without reason afraid of the vizier. The violator of the law understood that if his fate was decided by the vizier, then in that case he would not be able to escape punishment. It is also important that each of the respected officials, governors, priests, treasurers, generals, etc., was afraid to go against the vizier or his decisions, because often after the pharaoh he occupied the throne. For example, Amenemhatai. 1991 to 1962 BC, was the founder of the 12th dynasty, but historians believe that he was previously attested as the vizier of Menchuhotep IV. Another example is Pharaoh I, or I, who succeeded Tutankhamun, was the bearer of the fan at the right hand of the king, the chief of the king's friends during the reign of Akhenaten, then a dignitary and vizier under Tutankhamun, even then he managed to concentrate all real power in his hands. But the most famous vizier, known to most people, is Imhotep who was the vizier of Djoser during the third dynasty. Later, he was even deified by the people of ancient Egypt as the god of medicine, received his own tomb and was revered much more than many other pharaohs. 